but I don't really care right now if you have them. All I really care about is that you understand that you have your note, you know, you have your note card where you can look up your trig identity. So you need to know that the sine of negative x simply equals negative sine of x. And the cosine of negative x equals the cosine of x. And these are our two trig identities which you know we're, we've been practicing. So now all I have is a sine over cosine, which we know is the, can reduce down to the tangent function, and one of them is negative, so it's going to be equal negative, negative tangent of x. Okay, because remember we're working on simplifying, so instead of leaving a sine or cosine, we can simplify it down to tangent. Yes? Why didn't you do, since you did the negative sine x, why didn't you do negative cosine x? Not, Good question. Because remember, look at the trig identity and what it says. Trig identity um, for your sine of negative x is going to give you negative sine x. Oh, and, it, okay. and there's reasons why there, which you know we explain, we'll talk about later. But for right now, just for the basics, you want to think about it. Just follow what the trig identity is. Okay. And it actually kind of goes into, remember the odd? Remember functions are going to be odd or not?